I was a highway man Along the coach roads I did ride Welcome to New Mexico's Hidden and Enchanting Treasures. My name is Manly Chapa, and in this video is all about showing people in and out of New Mexico the history and culture not found in the big cities of Albuquerque, Santa Fe, or Las Cruces. I'm going to tell you about cities like Vaughn, Encino, Hagerman, and Dexter, just to name a few. So sit back and relax as we explore deep into the land of enchantment. Our first episode is on Bernalillo. Bernalillo is a small town that sits just 9 miles north of Albuquerque and about 2 miles east of Rio Rancho. It is the county seat of Sandoval County with a population of 6,611 people according to the 2010 census. Though it is closer to the Sandia Mountains, its elevation is only 5,052 feet, which is a couple hundred feet lower than the Mile High City of Albuquerque with a land area of 4.7 square miles. Founded in 1695 by Diego de Vargas, this area was already inhabited by Native Americans when it was explored 150 years earlier by Francisco Vázquez de Coronado walking the Camino Real trying to find the Seven Cities of Gold. He camped just north and west of Bernalillo with 500 soldiers and over 2,000 Native American allies from New Spain. While there, he claimed over a dozen Tiwo Pueblos before he left along the Rio Grande which runs through Bernalillo. The Spanish returned in 1598 to start a settlement. Unfortunately, all but two pueblos were abandoned. The two pueblos still inhabited would be named the Sandia Pueblo and the Isleta Pueblo. In 1693, just two years before its official founding, the village of Bernalillo built a Catholic church in the northern part of the town. Originally named Nuestra Señora de los Dolores, Our Lady of Sorrows, it would later be dedicated to San Lorenzo in 1856. Every August 9th through the 11th, Bernalillo celebrates San Lorenzo by throwing traditional Catholic fiestas. At the fiestas are dances, food booths, masses dedicated to San Lorenzo, and even matachines, which are Native American ritual dancers. The city then holds a parade that runs the length of Camino de Pueblo, the main street in Bernalillo. In the 1800s, Bernalillo became a major trading center on the Camino Real, which brought many settlers and much more money. In today's world, Bernalillo sits up against the Sandia Mountains, surrounded by Native American reservations. A casino was built to the west of the main part of the city, which is run by the Santa Ana Reservation. The casino also built an arena about five miles away in Rio Rancho, which hosts events like Winter Jam, a barbecue festival in the summer, WWE, and at one time was the home of the New Mexico Scorpions, a hockey team that was in the Southwest Division. Bernalillo High School, which is located on the new Spartan Alley Street, is the town's high school team. Their mascot being the Spartans, they have become very popular in the small town, and sporting events almost always draw a big crowd. Bernalillo has good eating, with places like Blake's, Twister's, Flying Star Cafe, Dion's, and locally owned and well-known Abuelitas. One of the biggest events in Bernalillo happened during the Christmas season when luminarias light up Camino de Bosque, a street that goes into the Bosque part of Bernalillo. It's a long-lit drive through that area of Bernalillo. So that is Bernalillo, New Mexico, the Coronado City. Thank you for listening and tune in next time for more of New Mexico's hidden and enchanting treasures. And remember that not all of history is found in a textbook. Open your eyes and you may find some of it right in front of you.